in what I call domination systems, fear is what holds it together. They may call it respect, but they really mean fear. In a highly punitive, rigidly male-dominated, dominator family, that child is not really respecting, because that child isn't modeled respect. Respect has to be both wise. That child learns fear. And that child cannot express the pain, the anger, the rage against the punitive parents or the punitive schoolmaster or the punitive uh, king or queen or, or warlord or whatever. So what does that child begin to do? That child begins to deflect it against those perceived as less powerful. And yes, there's a gender issue here mm -hmm. that we really need to talk about because in these very dominator societies, not only is there this rigid ranking of male over female, but there is a rigid ranking of anything stereotypically associated with masculinity over anything stereotypically associated with femininity. So if a man has to grow up not to be like a woman, how can he be empathic? How can he be caring? How can he be nonviolent when those are characteristics that are stereotypically associated with women? Nothing to do with anything inherent in women and men. I mean, I happen to be married to a very caring man. Here are two caring men. But we really need to address this because if we keep talking about being kind and caring and about relationship without understanding that male socialization in the domination systems that we're globally trying to leave behind has not been for relationship, it's been for control.